The new iOS 26.2 is amazing. The first beta of this software update brings a lot of really important new features and changes to iOS 26, but also it is amazing on battery and performance as well. So in today's video, we're gonna take another look at this update and we have a lot more new features to talk about, but also the battery life and the performance and what's next for iOS 26.2. Now, before we get into all that, I just wanna ask you guys for a really quick favor. Now, still, most of you guys that watch my videos are not subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos and you wanna see more of them, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. It will really help the channel a lot and we're starting things off with the music app now with the music app lately apple has been adding a lot of cool new features with 26.1 and now with 26.2 as well. Now, first of all, if you go to one of your playlists, of course, if you use Apple Music, then this right here will be on full screen. So you can see right here, I'm not using Apple Music and I don't have it on full screen. So it only has the small album art, just like it is on iOS 26 and 26.1. But with the new iOS 26.2, user created playlists will now feature a full screen album art which of course looks much much better also lyrics will now work offline on your apple music app of course again if you use apple music and you're using lyrics for downloaded songs you will now also have offline lyrics which is another super useful feature as you probably know by now ios 26.2 will bring another great new feature to the reminders app where you can now also set the alarm for your reminder which is pretty awesome now that of course will have a setting a new setting that has been added into the reminder section so if you go here and just scroll down you will find that setting so there it is you can see right here it's a section that says urgent reminders complete from alarm so instead of snooze display a complete button to stop the alarm and immediately mark it as complete so this way once you stop the alarm you will also mark your reminder as complete which is super cool there are, of course, a few more changes on the news app as well. Now, first of all, we have the redesign of the bar here and the search bar. Now, we also have different topics right here at the top. So you can see right here, if we go into the today's view, you will have a section you can see right here. Now it says discover more for of Apple news. And basically, you will go into different sections that you can actually browse here like if you go to sports or you can go to other things so you can see we have all sports you can choose the sport that you want to see right there it is actually super useful that way making it for you to browse the news and find the things that you're actually interested on very very easy and if you use the Freeform app, which is, of course, an app from Apple, it is a default app, which, of course, you can remove or even add from the App Store. You can see now we have something new and it says right here, do more with tables. Now, if you tap right here, you can actually go ahead and add a table. So right here, we can go ahead and add a table. Of course, you can add different rows and columns right here, whatever you need. You can tap on one of them to actually merge it like this. You can add the columns before, after, all that stuff. So basically, everything can be done here now with these tables. If you're someone that needs this app or basically use this app on daily basis, then you will have this pretty useful new feature. And also something really useful and of course a very, very nice that Apple has added it finally with iOS 26.2. It looks like they have actually enabled encrypted messages for RCS. Now we have heard about this before that is coming to iOS. It is finally here basically looking at the code it looks like it has been enabled but none of the carriers do actually support it yet so of course this is something that not only you need the update from apple the carriers have to actually support it as well so probably it will come very soon to the major carriers especially after this update is released to the public and if you use carplay now widget stacks are back on carplay 
as you probably know, that was a feature. If you have used CarPlay with iOS 26 on your car, then you know that is a feature that was actually included with iOS 26, but it had been removed and now it's back with iOS 26.2 beta one. Another really cool thing is that it looks like the clipboard might come to iOS as well. So some users have actually seen a pop-up when copying things on iOS 26.2 beta one. And just like macOS, the whole does have now a clipboard. It looks like it might come to iOS as well. And of course that would be actually a really, really great feature if Apple would finally add it to iOS 26 with this update. And now let's talk about performance. Well, this is the performance right here, the Geekbench score here for iOS 26.2 beta one. And when we compare it to iOS 26.1, this is the final release of 26.1. It is actually really, really good. As you can see, the single core score is almost the exact same. And the multi-core score is also pretty high, even though, of course, it lacks a bit when compared to iOS 26.1. But again, this is just beta one and expect to have a much better results on the next beta. But just taking a look at these scores, even with this as it's sends right now with the first beta the score is actually amazing so iOS 26 has been putting up some really high numbers on these tests so again the performance on numbers is amazing even though on daily basis you will find a few bugs here and there I see some of my apps sometimes are freezing since updating to iOS 26.2 beta 1 that's basically a reason for you to not update especially if you're using it on your daily device but we're going to talk about that in a minute first of all let's talk about the battery life which is a huge surprise for me. So there we have the battery usage. And as you can see in the last few days, the battery of my device has actually been really good. 120%, eight hours, 18 minutes right here, eight hours, 27 minutes, 113%, 122, nine hours. And right here we have nine and a half hours with 144% of battery usage. Actually, this is really, really good and way better than iOS 26.1. I've been using that since its first beta, and now I'm using, of course, iOS 26.2 beta one since its first day of release, and it looks like the battery has actually improved a lot, which is amazing. It looks really, really good. So what's next for iOS 26.2? Well, I would expect Apple to actually go on a two week schedule for the first couple of betas. So I don't expect a new beta tomorrow, which is Monday. It might happen, but I don't really expect it. This is what Apple usually does with the first couple of betas of these major releases. And then I would expect the second beta on the 17th of November, of course, from then on a weekly schedule then followed by the fourth right here the third actually on the 24th, the, the fourth here on the 1st of December, the RC most likely towards the middle of December, the 8th or the 9th, and then the 15th should be the day that Apple releases iOS 26.2 to the public. Based on the historical factors and everything that has happened before, this is what I expect to happen. So what should you do? Should you update or not to iOS 26.2? Well, in my opinion, you should wait for the second beta. This update is great on battery, great on performance in numbers, but on daily usage, as I said, some apps are freezing, especially the finance apps are actually not looking that good. They're freezing, taking a lot of time to load and sometimes crashing. That's the reason why I would say you not update to iOS 26.2, at least until the second beta. So that's basically for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, smash the like button and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys on the next one.